if you have arthritic knees, sur Ow. yeah, surgery might be in the option. You're going to want to watch this because there's going to be three different ways to stop the pain and maybe el eliminate surgery. We're going to go through it with injections. You're going to want to know this. Okay, every year in the United States, presently, over 600,000 total knee replacements happen. Bob and I have worked with thousands of knee replacements over the years. My, right. Now, the one thing that uh, just happened to me that kind of got me going on this is my mother had knee pain. She's not a, a candidate for surgery because she's got some health issues. She got an injection. A year later, a steroid. Steroid. Yeah. We're going to get into that. A year later, she has no pain, and she's still going with no pain. So uh, they, I think they, you get, get those every three months, right? Right. We're going to talk about that oh, in okay. more detail. All right. Three different types of injections. We're going to go through each one so you are familiar with what the doctors will be talking about if you're going in for knee pain and possible surgery. Okay, like I mentioned, there's categories. There's three separate categories of knee injections. All this information is just education for you. You really need to talk to your surgeon or your doctor about specifics to your health. So, but this is going to be very helpful for getting a big picture. The first category, and this has been going on for years, and that's what my mother had, was the cortico, corticosteroid injection. Yep, I agree. Okay. The pros for this type of injection, and this injection goes right into the knee capsule. Right. Uh, it's not painful. Right this is a joint. Yep. Well, I shouldn't say it's not painful for everyone. My mother had it, and she didn't feel it hardly oh. at all. If you got a good person doing the job, uh, the first pro is it's fast acting. Uh, typically, pain will reduce within a matter of a few days if it's going to work. Uh, number two, it's an analgesic. Analgesic, it's a pain reliever, right. which we just talked about. The next one anti inflammatory. Uh, anti inflammatory. So if you got inflamed swelling, it's going to help get that Calm down. Calm it down. Right. Uh, typically, one to two month duration is typical. So it lasts for one to two months. Typically. Again, uh, my mother's, it's still going. She doesn't have a problem. I imagine the swelling came down and it solved the problem. Right. The cortical steroid wore off, but she it continues to be right. good. So that's a possibility. Uh, repeat three times a year. They will not give injections typically of this type more than every three or four months. Total right. of three times. Um, and is there's this a reason. covered by insurance? Usually it is. In the United States, Medicare typically covers this. Uh, if you have a private insurance or your uh, supplement, uh, check on that, but it oftentimes is covered. Let's go to the cons, some things that you need to know about that's not so good on this. Uh, so first of all, uh, the effects wear off in time. It's not long-term. Of course. Yep. It can damage the tendons and the ligaments. In the area. Yep, in the area, and that's why, and this is where the, you know, your doctor will control this. That's why three times per year, if you go more than that, then your risk for damaging other tissues is too high. It's not a right. safe thing. Um, you can have sleep disturbances. Did your mom have trouble? No, she didn't have uh, any problems. Good. Now, these are, some people have them, some people don't. Right. Uh, they can cause a weight gain. Yeah, especially your arm for a long time. Right. Yep. And sometimes uh, it's uh, irritability. If, you know, you become more agitated. Yeah, I get that <laughs> way without... <disturbing>. Without it. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next uh, category. The next category is regenerative type of injections. These are newer. They just came about in the last few years. Uh, and I have a feeling these are going to take over the... The knee injection. Oh, really? Uh, well, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, the well, idea if is... Well, they work well, they will. Right. <laughs> well, they have a lot of different options. This is where they inject. Uh, the injection actually regenerates the cartilage, so it promotes regrowth. It's just not uh, causing the pain to stop. It's stopping sure. because the cartilage is growing back. It's going to the root of the problem. Right. And there's a number of different options, and this is where you got to talk to your doctor about. There's a stem cell option. There's a platelet-rich plasma option. That was offered to me for a 
a problem with my tendon. So it's not surgery. Right, not surgery. They, in that particular case, they take blood from you. They uh, centrifuge the blood, and then they get what they want from your blood and put it into the knee, and that causes regeneration of the cartilage. It's Amazing. Really neat, yep. That one is coming a long ways, I understand. Um, and then there's prolotherapy, and there's other options as well. They all promote regeneration of cartilage. The pros of this, there's no surgery involved, right. obviously. Long-term solution for chronic injury. So if you do get regrowth, it's probably going to be there for a long term. Safe procedure, no pharmaceuticals or artificial substances, and cost-effective versus surgery. What are the cons? <laughs> the cons is insurance typically does no, not cover it. Cover it. Right. I know for the injection into my tendon and my bicep, it was going to be a couple thousand dollars. Oh, wow. And, you know, not guaranteed to work. Uh, again, this show is promising for the future, though. Uh, it's slow acting. You get the injection. It takes time for the cartilage to regenerate. Like how, how much time? Up to six months. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it needs multiple injections, and it can be a little painful. It was? I didn't get it done. Oh. I, I opted not to He's do it. He's afraid. And mine got better with just old-fashioned yeah, therapy. <laughs> All right, number three. And the third group in this uh, category is visco supplementation. They always have big words in Mouthful. the medical. Community. Yeah, uh, this is simply a gel lubricant that they inject into the joint, and uh, the most common one is the, the slang term is rooster comb injection. Right. There's usually heard that for years. Yep, and they've been going on for a long time. And uh, it's where the injection actually puts a lubricant into the joint, makes it feel better. It's fast acting. This is one of the pros. It's fast acting relative to regenerative, which we just talked about. It's a joint lubricant, which I mentioned. Pain relief, uh, obviously. Um, approximately a six month duration estimated. So if it works. Yeah, it's not a real long time. It's going to save you if you can do it up to three times. So if things go well, you could get up to a year and a half of pain relief sure. uh, to prolong surgery, uh, usually covered by insurance. Great. Yeah. It's called rooster comb because evidently when this started, they used something from the rooster really? comb. Yeah. I'm not going to get into huh. that. But uh, uh, in fact, are the cons. So why are they? Effects wear off in time. Again, we mentioned the time length. Uh, it's not curative. It's just there to uh, help it go longer. And it can have allergic, <laughs> allergic, allergic reactions. reactions. Right. Uh, obviously, the, your doctor, whoever does the injection, will be very aware of that. Yeah. All right. So those are the three options for injections. Good summary. Yeah. So right. hopefully your knee pain can get better without surgery. We do have videos on exercises that can help pain. Oh, over there. Sorry, Danny. I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think this is very clear about, I don't know, was this clear to you clear guys back mud. there? Clear as mud. Um. <laughs> Good luck with your knees. Seriously, we want to keep everyone moving and walking.